Hi VC, Dale Gatefield 33 here to do the next um, episode instalment in my Lost in the Collection series. I think this is number 19, uh, where I pick five records I haven't listened to for five years, revisit them, say what I think. This the theme of this week's episode is non-UK, non-US artists. So I've picked five artists from different countries um, and gone back and explored. Um, album, an album from them, or the the album from them that I haven't listened to in five years. So first up is um, Astrid Gilberto, um, and the album Look to the Rainbow. So this is from was it sixty six? I think sixty six. Uh, and this is a really nice, really clean mono press. Um, and I've made little notes on pieces of paper that I put in the records um, because I do these five records and then by the time I get to the to do it I can't remember what I thought about the fifth one the first one um, I don't know if it's gonna help me or not we'll find out this week uh, so yeah what first thing to say about this is this could have been a beautiful fantastic cover an iconic cover you've got the mono which is you know with the mono font great you've got the verve logo you've got this shot through the ferns with the fuzzy kind of um outline and then you've got this really naff late you know bought um you know label that they've used the you know the, the type of top topography and the kind of to put the album title um in if they could have done something a bit more subtle in this dead space here i think you would have had a really iconic album cover but they didn't so um yeah and the album itself is a bit it's it it didn't um wow me um it's got some nice tracks it's got a mix of um you know tracks um so Astro Gilberto's Brazilian it's got a mix of um songs in Portuguese and uh songs in English I think the English ones are weaker apart from um the title track i think is pretty good um but um yeah the the ones sung in portuguese bim bom um i'm gonna say it um berimbu uh and uh something else the track three there was it felicidade um yeah they're all pretty good but say i'd say it's not an essential astro gilberto album um, so that's that. Next up from Australia, uh, we have the Triffids, uh, and I think their first kind of official album, um, Treeless Plain. Yeah, this is really good, um, sort of angular, jangly post punk um, from when was it from? I can't remember, early 80s. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, this is um, Hot Records, uh, does it say 1984? Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. But despite that kind of angular sort of jangly, the, it's, it's also really sort of spacious and the vocals have kind of got that uh, a depth and warmth to them. Um, and there's a bit of folkiness going on as well. So, yeah, it's got quite a lot going on and I thought really, really enjoyed this. Um, you know, born... Born Sandy Devotional, I think, is is an album I've also got. I've got three of their albums, but the, is and has always been my favourite and my kind of go-to. And and this has been, I'd say, neglected obviously because I haven't played it for five years. But no, this is really, really good. I enjoyed it. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Next up is Craftwork, um, uh, Man Machine. So this is the English version um, and start. So this is probably, probably needs no introduction. This is my only Kraftwerk album on on vinyl. I've got a few digitally, um, but this this is the only one I've got on vinyl. And yeah, um, so and the model, I've got the model, the single I've got on the 45. Uh, and, um, you know, I think that's a very familiar Kraftwerk song for anyone who doesn't know Kraftwerk, probably still knows that song. Um, but um, yeah, but the other sort of the robots is a good intro. It's OK. Um, the, but the next two songs, Space Lab and Metropolis, are fantastic. 
uh, the model is fantastic um, and then the kind of rest of it's okay so yeah enjoyed this um, yeah keep thinking I need to get more craft work but then um, normally when I play with the other albums I thought mm, actually I'm not sure that I love craft work enough that I need to go out and get it if I've already got a digital copy um, but yeah really enjoyed though revisiting this okay so that is and that's from Germany so that's Germany next up is Sweden um, and um, time is a mountain so this was a big recommend by someone who doesn't make VC videos anymore um, Anders from Stockholm who is a jazz musician himself uh, uh, he recommended this um, when I was kind of early in the VC I think it's 2013 it might have come out uh, and so I went out and bought it it says edition 300 copies but I think they're still they're not expensive now you can still get hold of them um, this is interesting so this is um, by three members of um, fire orchestra which is a Swedish kind of jazz free jazz outfit that I've not heard never heard um, and the kind of description free jazz normally puts me off but this is much more kind of so what is it it's someone and someone so um, you say three members of fire orchestra um, so you've got um, a bassist a drummer and someone who does keyboard synth piano sort of um, keyboards um, percussion uh, no no just keyboard synth type stuff um, and it works together it works really well and um, it's all, all instrumental um, it's not jazz but it's not rock um, so it's somewhere in between it's quite spacey yeah really really strong um, opening track um, what's that called what's that called yeah, it's all handwritten so I can't really doesn't matter check them out they did two out they've done today they've done two albums this one and then one called two in 2015 and I've heard nothing from them since I've got both those albums on vinyl um, both very good Okay, really working with these descriptions. It's really going great. Okay, I probably don't need to description on this one. So the next one, yeah, is Bjork's. So we're going to Iceland's Volnikura album. So this is the deluxe edition with a hard plastic um, sort of wrap around sleeve that the actual album goes into um, these are a real pain you know at some point because they're like glued plastic seams that they are going to break um, so hence breaking my rules of record storage I keep the records behind outside of this because I don't want to keep pulling this in and out in and out in and out at some point it's going to break so um, yep yeah. So this is 2015, um, and yeah, there's a there's a reason why I haven't been back this to this for five years. Is it's not the sort of record you reach for. Let's let's go and play Bjork's heartrending, um, you know, um, opening opening her whole soul up to the world over an incredibly painful breakup of a long term relationship. Um, and how she's used this as a bit of um, cathartic um, kind of uh, sort of um, soul saving or whatever um, and written some really heart-rending songs. Um, should we play that one dear? No, probably not. So it is a, it is a great album, you know, not great, it's a very good album um, and actually for, for, for me someone who um, you know I'm driven by the music, not by the words. I um, when I played this a double album, I um, I sat and read while she was singing. Sat and read the lyrics to every um, every song, and they're quite and say quite harrowing. Um, you know, she's she's bearing her soul on this album. Um, so yeah, so really interesting, and I think, as I say, I think she was encouraged by her friends to do this to try and kind of say she was she was incredibly, um, you know, um, 
upset by, oh, that's a, if that's an understatement, upset by the breakup of her long-term relationship uh, and uh, say this was a way of kind of uh, finding, finding a way through it. So, yeah, so, yeah, so it's an album I, um, it's sort of, I, I, you need to kind of prepare yourself, listen to it, and then I could, I think I can now put it on the shelves and put it, come back to it in five years' time and do the same. Um, it's my only Bjork album on vinyl. I probably need to get some of her earlier stuff. Um, my first four albums, I think, were really good. I've got them on CD, so I don't need to get them on vinyl, but, you know, one day. Okay, so I managed to, um, waffle on the last one enough to get through to the 10 minutes that I kind of set myself so well done um and um yep yeah, back next is 20 so 20 a multiple of five will be a random number generated selection so I look forward to seeing what the, the random number gener generator finds for me um so yeah so of these of these five albums probably I should have said um it's probably a a tie for the ones that leapt out at um i didn't re you know i didn't think they were that good i didn't remember them being that good the these two albums um for me um you know really glad i went back to them and, and um you know hopefully I'll, I'll, they'll be coming up more frequently at least every three years on the um on the listing anyway okay vc um cheers bye